Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video where we're going to be talking all about how to raise your rates without losing clients. This is a question that I get asked so many times uh, each week, I feel, uh, through DMs and on my YouTube channel, and it's how to actually push your prices up a little bit uh, with your regular clients that you might have without losing them. And it does feel like a very intimidating thing to do at first. I think as beginners or a photographer that has held onto a client for a long time, you don't want to come off as being rude or you don't want to come off as being money hungry or greedy. I know it's not really about that at all. It is about kind of getting more of an income for yourself and knowing what you're worth and knowing that as time goes along that you will have to put up your rates because that's how the economy works. That's how the world works. So we're going to talk about a few things today and a few tips that might help you if you're in that situation where you want to push up your rates, but you don't want to lose your client in doing so. So I think the main thing to remember about this topic is to really have a degree of confidence. And when you eventually have that conversation with your client about pushing up your rates a little bit, it's really important that you remain confident and you know what you're saying is true and you are confident in what you are saying. Because if they do tend to sense that you're not confident about what you're saying, if you do kind of shuffle around a bit and you give that impression that you don't really know what you're saying or you don't really know why you're asking them the question of raising your rates, then they'll probably start to lose a bit of a sense of trust in what you're telling them and maybe feel like you've got an ulterior motive and you don't want that. You just want them to be able to understand where you're coming from and let me tell you that most decent clients will absolutely know where you're coming from and will be able to understand. Now, another thing to remember is that it is all about having the conversation with them. If you never ask, then you will never know whether you'll be able to push your rates up or not at any stage. This is what I often tell people is that if you don't ask, then you don't get. And that's really important to remember with a lot of aspects of fashion photography and running your own business. But I think especially when it comes to rates, you really want to be able to keep up with the economy and keep up with inflation and the cost of living. I make a habit every financial year of looking at and reassessing some of my rates and costings um, in my business because I think every financial year is a good time to do it. It's when you're starting all of your tax information for the next year. And it's just a really easy time to start looking at pushing your rates up at that point. It also makes for an easier conversation maybe with your client. If you're speaking to them at any stage about raising your rates, then it's a really good lead in to say, hey, it's the new financial year, looking at my cost of living, looking at what my schedule is currently like compared to last year. This is the reasons why I feel that I have to raise my rates at this point and I'm making a point of notifying you in doing so. So that's not exactly the conversation that you need to have with them, but it's definitely a nice lead in at the beginning of every financial year to kind of like just bump those prices up. Now, keeping in mind as well that I, for my personal clients that I've had for a very long time or I have had on a regular basis, I don't wanna push my rates up to the point where it's really off-putting for them and they're not able to afford me anymore because especially if I enjoy working for them and it is a consistent form of income and I don't wanna lose that, then I'll obviously still raise my rates because as I said, you need to keep up with inflation. You need to keep up with how your skills are improving as well. Never forget that because that's a really big factor in why you should be raising your rates as you go along in your career you will improve your skill set, And that makes you more worthy of having a higher fee. And your clients will need to eventually understand that when you're raising your rates, your skill sets improve. You are more in demand as well from other clients. You become busier. You can't always take on the amount of work that you would like to, or maybe certain clients that are paying you less than another client that might come in and pay you a few thousand dollars more. So it's important to keep that in mind when you are raising your rates too and you're you're having that conversation with your clients that you have currently. You need to make sure that they're aware that you are busy and you're getting busier and your skill sets are improving and this is why you are wanting to raise your rates because they're really important factors in why it's perfectly acceptable for you to raise your rates and why your regular clients that you currently have should understand that fact. Keep in mind as well that it is a completely normal thing to do in raising your rates. This is something that most businesses will do. This is what your local grocery stores will do. is what your local tradesmen will do. There's so many different businesses out there that will be doing the exact same thing as you. So the fact that you are a photographer or that you are a creative should not even come into that debate. One thing that you also need to keep in mind when having that conversation with your regular clients is that you need to make sure you're not apologizing for anything or that you're not coming across as someone who's not really confident, as I said before, or the fact that you need to go into really complete details about why you're doing this. You just need to have that brief conversation with them to make them understand where you're coming 
coming from. And you really need to just throw in those points about the fact that you are getting busier, you are getting more in demand and your time is worth more. Your trade, whether that be photography or retouching or whatever you do, is becoming more of an asset for you and it is becoming more skillful and you are having less time to do the kind of work that you're doing with this client. But make it known as well that you really do want to keep working for them, that you are happy to work for them and you really want to continue that relationship. But in doing so, the one thing that needs to change is going to be your rates and the fact that you are going to have to raise them. You have to remember though yourself, it's not that you're trying to rip them off and you shouldn't feel guilty for raising your rates. You are keeping up with the cost of living and every person deserves to earn a living from what they do. You want to continue providing these services to your client. That's something to remind yourself of as well, that you really do want to keep working for these clients. I mean, if you really wanted to raise your rates for certain clients that you didn't particularly want to work for anymore, then that's completely up to you. Um, I guess that's a good way to kind of like wither down the relationship a little bit more with certain clients that you don't feel are beneficial anymore for your style of work. Or you could just end the work altogether if you are busy enough in other areas. So this is just something to get in the habit of doing. And the more that you do it, the more you'll feel more confident in doing it and more comfortable. But as I said, every financial year, it's a really good idea to start bumping up your rates then and to look at inflation and how the economy is going as well and really make a point of it to have that conversation with your regular clients about regularly upping your rates. If you're doing it every financial year, there really shouldn't be too much of a gap in terms of what you're charging because if you're raising your rates every financial year, then obviously um, you're gonna keep raising them as the years go by, which is fine. But I think there's one thing to look at inflation and then there's another thing to look at your skill set and how your skills are improving and how much time you have. Six months time could be a really, really big bracket of time for you to develop and for you to become more busier with your work. So that's important to remember as well that not only every financial year, potentially when you feel busy enough and confident enough in your work to be able to charge more, you should look at doing it at that stage of your career as well. So guys, I hope these tips have helped you out today. I hope this has been a little bit more enlightening for you on maybe what to have in those conversations with your current clients about raising your rates. Don't worry too much because I can't say that I've ever had a client before that has cut me off completely or anything like that if I've raised my rates. The conversations have all gone really well and usually most clients will be very polite in doing so if they can't afford to pay you more, then the decision is up to you in what happens from there. But I think it's important to have those conversations and to know what you're worth and to start realizing that your skill sets are very important and they will keep developing as you go along with your career. Thanks guys for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you see all the videos that I have coming up in future. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.